Hello everyone, welcome back to more Pokemon Coliseum. Uh, last time we basically explored the Undermoor. Yeah, that's basically what we did. We explored the Undermoor. We got uh, the art disc which lies over here. And now we are gonna face Lady Venus. But before that I will say I must apologize because last episode I uh, unfortunately recorded in uh, the wrong settings, meaning that you didn't get to see the whole uh, screen. So uh, sorry about that, but I have fixed this. So uh, this episode, you can see everything again. So yeah, Lady Venus. This can be a pretty tricky match if I can remember. To be fair, like all the Evan Bells are actually not too easy. But if I remember, once again, the main difficulty lies in uh, her shadow Pokemon is tough to catch. And, uh, you're, like, the problem is mostly just that you're lower level than the, uh, Pokemon you're trying to catch. Like, in the rematches, you're higher leveled than the uh, legendary Pokemon you're trying to catch, which she has the Suicune. So, uh, in that scenario, it's just easier to withstand the hits. And as well as, I think you already have the Master Ball at that point, so you can just do the Master Ball trick. Also, yeah, her team basically just uses a track. That's her gimmick. Which is an annoying gimmick. Because, honestly, it always feels like, um, no matter what you do, you always just get to hit by the attract. Right? You always just can't move. Although, Espeon did kind of just do that and kind of contradicted me. So uh, her first Pokemon is down, Vile Plume. Espeon level 38, sweet. Her next Pokemon is Bayonet, so I think I should. Oh, well. Great. Uh, I'm gonna switch Espeon out of here. Because Bayonet is just gonna d destroy me. Or I'll need to destroy Espeon. So we're gonna go into Umbreon and uh, go for a Razor Leaf. I think all of her Pokemon are female, if I'm correct. And, uh,. No, Bayonet's male. Double edge. Still a quite a lot of number on us. But yeah, um, Delcat is only like a casual 8 levels higher than us. I don't remember them being that high level. Like, I remember we're about the level you're supposed to be at this point. We even did some extra battles which we weren't which we didn't have to necessarily do, so you can just kinda of see how like a lot of the difficulty in this game lies in the fact that you're always fighting Pokemon that are higher level than you. To be fair, the challenge is nice for a change, because most Pokemon games are quite easy. Of course, no flinch. That did a ton of damage. Alright, another razor leaf. Please hit. I mean... The Delkid is just slowly killing itself, but uh, good thing we also decided to use Bob and Bayonet. That Bayonet gone as well, um, I think she has Steelix left in Suicune. Yeah, there is Steelix. Sure, what confusion. And, uh, basically.
Hey, that actually did a decent bit. Yeah, getting uh, Steel Axe out of the field is a, ch is a whole challenge as on its own. There is Suicune is level 40. And is the Shadow Pokemon, which we're gonna try to catch. At this point in the game, our Pokemons are a bit stronger than, uh, than we faced Entei. So we should be able to survive longer against Suicune, so hopefully we can get him this time. Alright, that's actually very annoying. Mm-hmm, Ricky down, um... It happens, it's fine, um... Keep going artillery. Who's what, like, 11 levels lower than, uh, Steelix? Earthquake. Be honest, that's not. I don't mind that really. I don't. I doubt it's gonna kill Sweek unless it's crit. And it means I have to do less of the damaging myself. Although I am now a bit scared that uh, he's just gonna go and kill Sweek on. So that's why I'm gonna go into Noctowl. Who is sort of useless without. Uh, without being able to use hypnosis. Please, I, this is a moment for quick claw up here, but uh, of course he didn't, and uh, yeah, Hemi is down. Meaning we don't really have much to use against uh, Steelix. Oh, that did nothing. Hit yourself, please. No, why hit yourself? Why would you hit yourself? Why would you hit yourself? Oh, damn. Couldn't the thing be over? Alright, well, this is probably our only chance to use uh, the Ultra Ball. Clutch hidden power time? Maybe? I mean, it just gets him, it'd be actually like fantastic. No. Hidden power fire, maybe? Alright, it's not very effective. Great. There goes Sweet Moon. And yeah, sure you- <sighs> Fuck you, Steelix. Alright, well, Nocturne's completely useless without, uh... Without uh, the usage of Hypnosis and, uh... I mean, I could just protect Stall a bit, but I don't think it's even worth doing that. Hey, that's nice. Hit yourself. No, after the fifth time you still don't hit yourself, you know. Because why hit yourself? Why? 
stupid fucking bitch ass Steelix. Man, the floor, I know it's not, but it just looks so much like blood. It's just a splatter of blood there, but it's a Pokeball, but... That little scene, it just looked like it was a splatter of blood. Alright, good riddance. Like I said, we can just get in and check and try. I'm so glad that you didn't go out live on air. Uh, me too, I guess. Wasn't the, that wasn't the best battle, to be honest. Oh no, Lady Venus was knocked down. Wark, run away! Aye! How dare you, how could I get best by a mere boy? Remember this, I'll get you back for this. Yeah, I'm file. I'm file F. We're not gonna read it, I don't care. TM45, which I believe is a track. You know, our, our whole team's healed actually, never mind. Let's get these guys up front, I guess. I mean, she was nice enough to heal her team, man. Right? That's uh, convenient. No, but it's really convenient. Pokemon games should do that a lot more. Instead of me having to completely heal my team again after this. Oh yeah, I accidentally did optimal movement here. Right, so this is the like, this staircase is the infinite staircase of shadow Pokemon that you have absolutely only one shot at. Um, yeah, that's uh, you want to be tough. So let's take uh, on the staircase. Whoops! There were other spies. We're not getting past me. So yeah, Hunter Freyna. He's got Shroomish and Gligar. And yeah, no, uh, Gligar is the Shadow Pokemon. Having used Gligar before, I can tell you, um, he's super reliant on uh, TMs. If you have the right DMs, he can be alright. Like, you're gonna have to sacrifice an Earthquake DM on him if you wanna really make him half decent. Unfortunately, I didn't. I thought it was better to give it to somebody else, so uh, I had to do, deal with a Gligar without Earthquake, and I can tell you he wasn't very great. I basically only used him to get the, the weather up. I gave him Sunny Day Rain Dance. As well as uh, like Screech. Screech is a decent move he has, I guess. All in all. Personally, I probably wouldn't recommend Gligar, but I mean, if you want to use it, it's up to you. He's okay at best, I'd say. I mean, I suppose benefit from him is that he's level 43. So you don't really have to train him up at all. He missed. Fake dear, so don't be a bitch. Hopefully we get him in this one on the ball. Um, 
I'm sure I'm gonna bite that here, so... He's an adorable little bear. Alright, Glygar, don't be a bitch, bitch. There goes artillery. Yeah, Noctowl, Noctowl's good uh, option here to go and uh, put it to sleep. That was hard. Why did he do so much damage? Did he get a crit? I didn't see it. It's also super annoying. You were completely useless, not pal. Maybe this time we'll go in. Can also just finish off Teddy Ursa. Bam, he's got. And there it all jiggles. There's McJiggles. Jiggly buff. Alright, that was Slugmo got 37. No, I'm not supposed to lose. I won a Coliseum channel. Or not channel. Not challenge. Channel challenge. Ugh. If you're mean to me, I'm gonna cry, okay? No. But I want to cry. Wah! Right. Get you some herbs. I do think they're nice enough to give you a healing point after this trainer. What the? What's this little boy and girl doing all the way down here? What's Frenna doing up top? Well, she's crying. Liax. Roselia and Curlia. I can see the writing on the wall. Let's get rid of Roselia as quickly as we can. <laughs> oh well, Roselia is faster. And goodbye, Hammy. Um, I suppose, I suppose I can just bubble beam uh, Curlia and then finish off Rosalia for faster than it. Umbreon level 38, very nice. 
course you have a gloom. Why does everyone have a gloom? <laughs> Amy's going ham over here. Sure, Ketchup, you uh, go in there and uh, kick some ass. And bite curl, yeah. Hopefully we get a flinch. Nope, so yeah, that is probably rest in peace Lugma. No. Not yet. Until Gloom finishes off. Yup. Ah, uh, you're so useless. Catch up. Why are you so useless, Ketchup? <laughs> Alright, Espeon, you get in here. Oh, there's Stendler. Uh, he is a shadow Pokemon and he's difficult to catch as well, so we're going to be struggling for a bit to get him. You know, I also haven't figured out what our hidden power is yet, but it's, it's apparently not very effective against Steelix, which, well, considering he's steel type, there's Quite a couple of types, which it can be then. Don't think uh, this should not kill, I hope. No, it won't kill. It did do a ton of damage on recoil. That, this is actually quite scary honestly because he does a ton of damage on recoil or you protect even though he's probably gonna go after Espeon so yeah that's what I mean that this Pokemon is probably the hardest one to catch out of the ones down here Mostly because he uses takedown. And Shadow Rush. Alright, Ricky. If only you had sleep powder. Alright, I'm pretty desperate here. I don't want to redo, uh, redo this stuff. One. Oh god, this is fucked. He's gonna kill himself, isn't he? Alright. We get another shot. This is a bit. It is, however, quite enough annoying that he isn't going after Umbreon. Come on, get him! Catch him, please! Phew, that was close. That was a real close call. I haven't even talked about Sentinel, but Sentinel is actually pretty good. 
Standler is like a, a better version of uh, the fort you get in the beginning. With a couple of better utility moves. You know, this kind of reeks of like somebody jumping out, out of the air and like going to challenge me for battle. Right, I thought there was a healing place down here, but there isn't. And I think there's still like two more trainers down there. Um. So what will I do? I will end the episode off here and next episode we'll uh, go and uh, finish the staircase. If you guys enjoyed this video, uh, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. It really helps out and have a nice day. Goodbye. Thank you.